Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein of Jordan at his residence. Present were Her Majesty Queen Rania Al Abdullah, His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Sheikh Anayla bin Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. The meeting reviewed the distinguished historical relations between the two kingdoms and ways to enhance cooperation in various fields and stressed the importance of boosting coordination. His Majesty the King praised the Jordanian monarch's visit that contributed to strengthening ties. He praised the vital role of, the Jordan, of Jordan under its leadership in defending the Arab nation's causes, supporting joint Arab action and contributing to enhancing security and stability in the region and the world. His Majesty King Abdullah expressed his appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm reception and gracious hospitality and wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King then accompanied the Jordanian monarch to Sakhir Air Base. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa bid farewell to His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein of Jordan as His Majesty left Bahrain for Sakhir Air Base. His Majesty King Abdullah held talks with His Majesty the King on the strong brotherly relations and the latest developments at the regional and international levels. The Jordanian monarch was also bidden farewell by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Director General and Chief Executive Officer of the International Institute for Strategic Studies, Dr. John Chipman at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's commitment to supporting international efforts that enhance development, security and stability. He added that international partnerships have proven effective in addressing global challenges and are a cornerstone for consolidating the foundations of global peace and security. His Royal Highness highlighted the cooperation between Bahrain and the IISS noting the Institute's success in organizing the regional security forum, the Manama Dialogue. He noted that the forum is an influential global platform that facilitates communication channels and exchanges ideas on issues of regional and global security and stability. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of research studies to strengthen security and stability, noting the role played by the IISS in this aspect. Dr. Chipman expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, noting His Royal Highness's commitment to strengthening cooperation between Bahrain and the IISS. Dr. Chipman also expressed thanks to the Kingdom for hosting the 17th edition of the Manama Dialogue. The chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met at Rafah Palace with the outgoing Sharjah affair of Israel to Bahrain Itai Tagner. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of further strengthening bilateral cooperation following the signing of the Abraham Accords, which is a foundation for regional and international development, peace and stability. His Royal Highness commended Tagner's efforts to enhance relations between Bahrain and Israel and wished him success in his future diplomatic endeavors. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa received Pakistan's Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee Chairman General Nadim Rada. The meeting discussed topics of common interest and the National Guard President stressed the advanced level of bilateral relations, especially in the military field. General Rada expressed his appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed and his keenness to develop bilateral cooperation. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the exceptional care that Bahraini youth enjoy from His Majesty the King has contributed in supporting creativity, excellence and leadership. His Highness emphasized His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's keenness on supporting Bahraini youth, which is an integral part of shaping the future of the Kingdom. He expressed his appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for the Cabinet's approval of marking March 25th as a day for Bahraini youth. He said that the Kingdom recorded a unique youth model at the regional and global levels. His Highness indicated his constant keenness to continue supporting Bahraini youth in various aspects to contribute to the development of Bahrain. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fazia Zainal, chaired the weekly cabinet councils meeting, after which the Representatives Council Secretary General Rashid Bonajma made a statement that briefed the media on the meeting's outcome. The Council approved proposals to amend Law 78 of 2006 on insurance against unemployment, as well as Law 27 of 2005 on education. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, signed an agreement between the Government of Bahrain and the Arab Fund for Economic and Social Development. Under the agreement, the fund will provide soft financing for the project to establish a new center for monitoring and controlling electricity and water networks with a value of 10 million Kuwaiti dinars to meet the growing needs of electricity and water generation, transmission and distribution services. The Minister affirmed that Bahrain is moving forward in economic development to achieve the desired aspirations and goals. He stressed the importance of continuing to build on the achievements that support the goals of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and reflect the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The financing agreement was also signed by the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Wa'al bin Nasser Limbarak, the CEO of the Electricity and Water Authority, Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and on behalf of the Arab Fund for Economic and Social Development, the Director General and Chairman of the Fund's Board of Directors, Badr Mohammed Al Saad. The National Initiative for Agricultural Development announced that it has received general support for the Forever Green campaign from Ahli United Bank for the afforestation of Rafah Avenue in the Southern Governorate and the American School of Bahrain for the afforestation of December 16 Highway. This is part of their commitment to community partnership to promote the expansion of the green area in Bahrain and to address the effects of climate change within 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. NIAD Secretary General Sheikh Maram bint Isa Al Khalifa said that the campaign is based 
based on the vision of the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Niyad Consultative Council, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, to achieve a continuous expansion of the agricultural sector by involving the public, private and civil sectors in a way that combines efforts to boost generous engagement and assist in the prosperity of the agricultural, food and environmental sectors in the Kingdom. Sheikh Amaram noted the important and significant role of the private sector in supporting the campaign through companies that have undertaken the achi to achieve the lofty goal of expanding the green areas in the Kingdom. She added that thanks to this outstanding partnership, 12 sites have benefited from the Forever Green campaign across the Kingdom. It's such a pleasure to be here with you today. We're launching a new location under the uh, Forever Green campaign. Uh, today we are in uh, the 16th of December Avenue. Uh, we're close to the proximity of the American School of Bahrain. Um, the, uh, we're planning on planting a two kilometer distance of this road with beautiful trees, beautiful flowering and evergreen trees. Um, hopefully by this time next year or in the next couple of years, this road is going to be a beautiful, lush uh, landscape. Uh, there is no doubt that every tree we plant is going to make a difference for the community. It's going to make a difference for the environment of Bahrain. And it, it's, it's going to thrive for four years and keep Bahrain forever green. And that's what we're working towards. So it's such a pleasure to be here. This is our 11th location under the national campaign. And we look forward to being with you again in other locations until we meet our, our uh, target of completing 27 uh, different areas in the Kingdom of Bahrain before March of 2022. We're thrilled to be involved in the uh, initiative, the tree planting initiative. It falls right in line with what we uh, have as our six pillars in terms of community outreach. We have a lot of students involved in sustainability programs, gardening clubs. Uh, one of the things we talk a lot to our students about is that they, they have the privilege of going to a, a world-class school with teachers from all over the world, uh, and with that comes responsibility. They uh, have the responsibility to give back to the community, uh, to really think about their own community and how they can make it a better place. Uh, initiatives like this uh, are certainly a win-win for us as a school, for our students, and also the community, so we can reach out and, um, and be involved in, in leadership initiatives uh, and, and hope that our students are aspiring to be uh, leaders and, and to make a difference uh, in the kingdom, both as students and in the future.